Hey weirdlings, it's Margot. I'm currently working on a video about the tragic and twisted history of the notoriously haunted Lemp Mansion and Brewery in St. Louis, Missouri. So leading up to that, I thought it would be interesting to talk about some of the ghost stories that are floating around the internet about the place and look at some of the pictures that have been captured there. I should note that the Lemp Mansion is currently a restaurant and inn. This one was submitted to legendsofamerica.com by Julie Meyer from January 2006. Julie says, I visited the Lemp Mansion in January of 2003 with my aunt. We arrived early and had lunch at the mansion before checking out the sites of St. Louis. We too were shocked that we were given a key and told we'd be all alone that night in the mansion. We were the only ones staying there that night, mind you, but didn't know this at the time. I assumed someone lived there and they meant alone as in no other guest. I felt uneasy right away the second I got to the top of the stairs. My aunt seemed okay and wanted to explore, but I felt this heaviness. The hallway off to the left of the stairs was the worst. My body just would physically not go in that hallway. We had reservations at a comedy club that night, so we decided to take a nap. An hour into my nap, I awoke to the sound of a baby crying and a woman talking. I got a little irritated because it was right outside our room. We were in the big suite, the lavender lady's room. How rude it was of this woman to just stand out there and make all of that noise. But then it stopped and I went back to sleep. When we got up, I found two women downstairs taking down the Christmas decorations and we got to talking to them. That was when we learned we were the only ones there that night, and I asked the women to leave the light on in the dining room so it wouldn't be pitch dark when we got in that night from the comedy club. The women told us their experiences, and we laughed. Offhanded, I asked if they were the ones with the baby. I heard the crying at 5 p.m. and was told promptly there was no one else there but them after 3 p.m., and definitely no baby. I felt silly for even thinking I had heard such a thing, and was convinced these women were trying to scare us. That night, when we got back, we were alone. My aunt wanted to explore, but that uneasy feeling was overwhelming to me. We went into the other bedrooms and walked around. The bedroom across from our suite was so heavy feeling. My aunt went towards the hallway and went to look into the other rooms, but I could not get my body into that hallway. I stopped halfway in and watched my aunt peeking into the rooms. She got to the end of the hallway and bent over to peer into the staircase, and a shadow went past me. I was looking right at my aunt's shadow. Well, I freaked out and demanded we call it a night. The uneasy feeling never left me, and when we went to bed, I was too scared to sleep. The final straw came when the piano began to play. I was done. My aunt gave me a Valium to help me sleep. Yes, now I find these events very funny, but at the time, not so funny. After that, I was out, head under the covers and asleep. My aunt says that during the night, she awoke to someone petting her hair. She thought I was messing with her and turned over to find me completely out and turned the other way. She turned back over and said a few minutes later, it happened again. She said she never felt scared and that it felt comforting to her. Mind you, this is a 55-year-old psychiatrist. When I got home, I searched my suitcase for my phone, but it wasn't in there. I called the Lemp Mansion, and they sent someone up to look, but it wasn't there. I called the rental car company, and they couldn't find it in the car. I ended up having my phone turned off, convinced someone had it. When the bill came in later, we realized all of the phone calls had come exactly 38 minutes after the hour, and all to my husband's phone. Now, I don't get that, but I do know that it was creepy. People say that the people at the mansion probably did it on purpose. Whatever the case, I still find the situation disturbing. But will I go back again someday? You bet. But I will make sure my cell phone stays on my person this time. <laughs>